Hey everybody, it's me today with my Stitch Fix unboxing. And it is the bigger box, so I am excited. So without further ado, we're gonna just gonna get into this. Hey, I already went ahead and cut open the box, so I wasn't gonna make any too much ruckus. And as always, there is the styling card and the return envelope and the invoice. And I like to look at those at the end of my video or the end of when I looked at everything so I can give my uh, first impression. So it looks very nice. Looks like a lot of fall stuff, um, which is kind of nice only because uh, uh, November I'm going to Tennessee to look at the leads change, color change, so maybe I need a little sweaters or stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get into this. And Sorry for all the ruckus right now. Okay, first things first is Hawthorne. And it is a um, 41 Hawthorne Ellie printed 3 4 sleeve blouse in coral. And it's pretty and it's nice and long and uh, it's very flowy. It'll be nice with a little cami under it. So very nice. I really like the color and everything. All right. The next thing is D. Ellie, um, Sydney Keyhole Neck Knitted Top Dark Gray. All right, this is interesting. Nice little dark color, and it looks like it has that little choker hole or anything. That's kind of neat. Um, right now, it's smaller and hot still in Florida, but like I said, this might be nice for the winters or the fall time whenever I go out of to Tennessee. And my stylist, which I don't know who she is yet, um, I keep getting them changed because they're trying to figure out my style. But anywho, um, I totally spaced out that it was time to write down what I wanted. So I think this person is just going on a wham, not knowing what I want. Um, quite possibly they went on my Pinterest, um, but I don't think I haven't uh, pinned any sweaters. So, uh, but, so it looks like they got a sweater. Well, I don't think I'll, I'll ever wear this. It's a nice cream sweater, but the front has this little weird tie thing. I mean, I'll try it and see if it looks any good, but um, I don't know. It is from uh, Cotton. I can't really tell on the sweater. It's, uh, yeah, Delta tie front pullover. So off-white. We'll see how it goes, I guess. I'm, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of things that are tying in front of me because I'm self-conscious about my belly and I think that wouldn't look right. But like I said, I, I'm all uh, open to try stuff. So, looks like they sent me a dress which would hopefully look nice. It's a little strappy and it's, it's got a little tied up on the waist here. And it is very long and very pretty colors. So, um, there's a Carolyn Maxi dress. So, it looks like it's lined on the inside, but not in the booby area. So, it's kind of sheer. So, definitely have to still wear a bra or something so alrighty next thing I got here are a pair of pants alrighty um, quite stretchy they look like dress pants alrighty. and they look like they're capri they're not as long So, 
Where is the tie? Where's my clip? Jody skinny pant. Alrighty. So let me look what the styling card has to say on how they would like me to style these. So let me go get that real quick. Alrighty. So it looks like my stylist is Michelle. And this is how they think to style a lot of this stuff. Which, if the dress fits, I pretty much have a jean jacket to wear with it. And uh, so I always like keeping these to pair, you know, to reference of what to wear. So she says, Hi, Jessica. It was so fun to see your video and what you thought about our products. I hope that this fix nails it for you. I added the Jody skinny pant as an alternative to jeans since you said you couldn't wear ripped pants at work. These are great for pre-fall also as they look cute. So, sorry, they look so cute with sweaters like the cream cotton and booties since it's still a little warm and you said you could live in a maxi dress i thought you would like the pretty dark garment floral option from versa lately i added late lastly i added a couple of other top options to pair with jeans the keyhole neck knitted is my favorite as we are seeing this neckline everywhere. Definitely a great twist to a basic top. Hope you enjoy XO Shell. Oh, what a nice girl. So she watched my videos. Hey Shell, hope you see this one. And I hope I won't be too critic. I'm sorry. I'm just bluntly honest. That kind of makes me nervous. But so I'm gonna go try everything on. Um, right now I'm just wearing my new shirt, which is like <gasps> everything what I live for so coffee and mascara but uh so I will see y'all in a few minutes and I definitely will uh need some opinions because I am my worst enemy and critics of my clothing options I'm trying to be better at it this is literally the basic look I look at all times a basic graphic tee and jeans and I need to Stop being that comfortable with just basic things. So anywho, so without further blabbering on, let's go on the try on. Alrighty, I'm wearing the cream colored sweater. It's very soft, but I had to wear a white cami with it. And uh, this tie up thing, I'm not a fan of it at all. I don't think it flatters me. It makes me feel like I'm bigger than I am, which I am not tiny, I know that, but just doesn't flatter. But the material is beautiful. It's a very pretty sweater. The pants go pretty high, which covers up my love handles, but I think it feels like if it goes that high, it makes like my butt doesn't exist, as in like very flat. Um, and they are quite long on the ankle part only because they feel like very classy yoga pants. That's all I can think of calling them. But I don't know. What do y'all think of it? So let me try in the next spot from Old Navy. So. this up a little so y'all can see it what do y'all think I feel like it needs a little more shape to it that's just me but, uh, I like that it's somewhat lightweight where it's easy to roll up the sleeves if it does get a little warm and like I said I probably won't be wearing this until I go to Tennessee because Florida is just too hot but uh, I don't know Give me your opinions. I do like the, the color. I feel like it's a great, you know, casual sweater.
Alrighty, here I'm wearing a coral shirt and it's got elephants on it, which is kind of cute. I'm again, wearing it with those jeans that I bought from Old Navy, which is funny. I asked for Stitch Fix for a while for distressed jeans and I kept saying, do not give me really uber distressed jeans and what am I wearing? Literally <laughs> the, the most distressed jeans I've ever worn. But they're cute. What do y'all think about the shirt? I am wearing a tank top under it because it's very sheer. I don't know if I would have to maybe wear a coral one under there where it wouldn't be so stark. But I don't know. It's cute. I like the sleeves. And it has a little cute button right there. So I think this is a perfect length and it's flowy. So, all right. Let me try on the dress now. Alrighty. This is the dress. It's floor length. So it goes all the way down to the floor. Um, it's, it's pretty, but I feel like it, I don't know. It's not, I feel like, I don't know. It's hard to explain how I feel about it. I think I just recently tried on a dress from Old Navy that was, um, pastel color and um, it just makes me look very un, I don't know I'm just having a hard time with words um, it's beautiful but I don't think it's for me I'll be honest I just don't if I raise it up more you know I mean you know now when I raise it down it doesn't do really much of a difference it's as I say, it's beautiful, but I don't think it's a dress for me. But um, I like the colors. It's like a great dress to transition into the fall, but I just feel like it's not showing off my possible figure that I have. I have an hourglass, so our chesty waist is small, but I feel like this is just... Maybe that would be prettier. I don't know. Alrighty, so let's go and break down all of this stuff and go back to reality and see how much I'm going to spend. Alrighty. Alright, here I am. Whew. It's always quite a workout of trying to try on these clothing and everything. Alright, so this is my Stitch Fix number 7. <clears throat> Alrighty, so the purple dress is $54.00. Um, the off-white sweater is $40. The keyhole black sweater is $48. And the um, blouse is $48. And the pants are $44. Which is crazy. It's probably one of the cheapest boxes they'd sent me. So all in all, it's $234. If I buy all five, it's $58.50 plus my styling fee, which would drop it down to $155. So $155 isn't too bad. It's crazy because if I bought the blouse and the black sweater that I like, it would be almost a hundred dollars. See, that's what Stitch Fix does. They're like, buy this all, and then you get a better discount because realistically, a big, oh, horrible. I don't know. It's it's really a struggle. Um, I'm gonna show my husband this stuff because, uh, as everybody knows, if you've watched my videos, ongoing. Uh, my husband is a big part of me deciding on the clothing that I get and he always does such a good job he always takes me shopping and he picks the greatest outfits for me so I'm always so happy when he does that and it's a nice little bonding thing amongst married people but anywho so uh, he just got back home yesterday so I'm gonna go try these stuff on and let him see what he likes and um, I will have this video up probably 
Sunday. I'm going to edit it tonight, but it'll be up on Sunday. So that'll give me time till Monday and possibly Tuesday to ship this out and make my final decision. Um, definitely, I'm enjoying the coral shirt and the black one, but... I mean, the pants were nice, but the only thing is, is I'm very self-conscious about my thighs. And I feel like they just ex ex accentuate it, but, you know, we have our own demons. So, alrighty, well, thank you so much for watching. And if you don't mind, uh, could you just describe, I mean, well, <laughs> subscribe to my channel and if you would also like to hit the like button so I know that everybody's continuing on going loving my stitch fix because I'm thinking about taking some time off but if you really do like watching them I will continue doing them because uh, I like them uh, but I'm just having a hard time figuring out what I want now because we're transitioning into the seasons and everything so I kind of like I said, I forgot about it and uh, it was already shipped. But, you know, for her to just go on a wham, she did really good. Really did good. So, um, uh, without any more blabbering on, I will just go ahead and discontinue this and let it go and say goodbye. Until next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.